It's actually really hard to believe that all the stuff fits on the back of my truck. Fridge. Packed down. <laughs> Exciting. First trip into camper. Only thing left to do now is fold down the top and I gotta put some of these clothes away. Last minute decision, my brother, Nate, is going with me on this trip. We're gonna be gone for about four weeks. We we're gonna leave this morning, but the snow bit us. So we're gonna head out early, watch the Super Bowl tonight at home instead of listening to it on the radio in the truck. We're ready, heading to Eufaula. in the morning. We're ready for takeoff. Pack to the helm. Well, we pulled in late last night and made it to Eufaula safely. And there's the lake. Gonna take the Phoenix off the truck, but I gotta get a photo shoot this morning. Nate's trying to figure out how to hook up the power poles. Actually start fishing tomorrow. Boat's never been wet, so it's gonna be interesting to say the least. Press one of the buttons up there, just once. Either one, don't matter. Last year, <laughs> I forgot something as simple as that, and it cost me two hours of fishing time. Lawrence is bringing us sea mapping for uh, Eufaula. It just got finished, too, so it's going to be fresh. No eyes have seen it. on me breaking stuff? Yeah. Looking good. Yep, you're on, you're out. Supposed to get a ton of rain tomorrow. Ready for morning. Supposed to pour four inches. So that's not gonna be good. I don't know, it's just always something. Four inches is a lot. my first time starting the motor. It started. So I launched right by the camper because this water looked so good and you saw what I caught. Uh -oh. You want to know what I'm thinking? I've wasted half a day already. I'm not sure whether I want to pull out and launch somewhere I've been before. I've never been in this part of the lake. I don't know. Tough. You got a million places you want to look at. victim of the two pound minimum, which I like, don't get me wrong. Radar lightning in the air. Two pound minimum is going to be tough. 
somebody's poor old ranger. There I go. Not big enough. That was a giant. I'm talking like a 10 pounder, like eight plus. Not good. That's actually unbelievable. I'm not even going to be able to make it back. Camping about 25 miles this way. Getting a very late start today. It's already almost 10 o'clock. Hello. Stuff was just wrong. That's kind of the problem when you uh, get everything done at the last second. Nothing I could have done about it this year. It just didn't work out quite right. Major storms coming. There's a tornado watch right now. See the mud coming in. We're supposed to get three inches of rain at least. We already got over an inch, maybe two inches already. Adversity, gotta love it. We're all in the same boat. In a different area, totally other end of the lake five inches of rain that's coming it scares me about being up the river so i come up here by the dam when you don't land on the right spot right off the bat or at least get in an area where you got some confidence but I got nothing like zero I haven't had a single bite yet today I only fished for two hours but still I covered a ton of water clueless I know they're grouped up so it stinks not to have one of those spots yet mm, I don't like this I really need to be idling around in that four to seven or eight foot range trying to look at the little hard spots and stuff like that where I might have a chance to catch a, a bunch of fish at one time because guys are going to light the score tracker up like that I guarantee you just need more time there it is my first bath literally all day not even two pounds close but not dead I had about a six pounder hooked earlier and it got off at about one o'clock. Now it's 1.30 and that's my first fish in the boat. I'll tell you what, this is the first time since I got the new Evolve rain gear that I've fished in an all day torrential downpour. I'm dry, pretty cool. What a day. It's two o'clock, not getting it done, scary. I know that the majority of the fish are just out just a little tiny bit. No, not a big one, but a nice one. One of these new VMC baits, a little underspin. Sometimes it's little things like that that change your whole outcome. I don't know if that's a coincidence or not, but I started throwing this just 10 minutes ago and caught two and haven't had a bite all day. Here we go. Nice one. Practice is 15 minutes from being over, and at least I finally got a good bite. I found some spotted bass that I think are over two pounds. Launched at three different launches and finally found a creek that I like. I only got 10 more minutes until I gotta quit. I decided to run back in here and it's a little bit muddy, but there's a channel swing that comes into the bank right here. First cast, I caught that big one. So 
we shall see. It's something. Those spots out there, I caught three or four, but I could have caught quite a few more. They're out there in that five foot range, like on some of these little rock piles off the ends of these points, little rocky spots. Finally got some confidence in this jig too. That's big. Pretty much dark. And that is the end of that. Not a very good practice. Terrible. Got two schools of spots, pretty healthy ones. Got a little confidence in the jig, finally. Is what it is. GoPro stop recording. Looks like we're in the clear at least for the rest of the day. So today's my day off. Not real sure what the damage is. I know the water's up a lot and uh, I'm, I'm expecting it to get muddy. Got a lot of wet stuff. And we're going to see if we have dry shoes yet. How you doing? Oh, good. It'd be better with dry shoes. My shoes are not dry yet. All right. Well, time to start getting rigged. First things first, you want your rain gear to keep you dry. But I noticed something about the Evolve rain suit. So I've never worn it in a torrential downpour. I've never worn it anything in rain like we had yesterday honestly one of the coolest things about this evolve this right here so when you're fishing all day and you have those suspenders on it causes your back to hurt sometimes so what's cool about this i can pull my rain gear up over my hips strap it on both sides and literally tighten that waist so that i don't have to wear the suspenders and boy i'll tell you what every time i fish in the rain my back hurts at the end of the day felt great all day this is the first time ever so another cool feature about the evolve that almost went unnoticed but thanks to yesterday it all makes sense flooded nasty scary. I got Willie. That water is dark brown. A lot of us starting over today. The fish I found probably blown out. We're still gonna start in there because that's the only place I had bites. But if that doesn't work out, man, we're scrambling by the seat of our pants, which doesn't happen very often in 18 years of professional tournament fishing. I can promise you that. We are rigged and ready. Take off day one, Bass Pro Tour. Stage one, you fall Alabama. minute before lines in. Water looks good, I'm surprised. We got 20 seconds. Local boat right up there, they got a big ABA tournament today. I guess there's two tournaments, but hundreds of boats on the water. Nine, He's sitting where I caught eight, that big one in seven, practice, so six, not good. Five, Only bites I had were right here, right there. Three, two, one, lines in. Dave, I've got a score tracker update for you. First place, Wesley Strader, two pounds, six ounces. Second place, Luke Clausen, two pounds, three ounces. No other anglers are on the score tracker as of yet. Two fish? No, sir. That was not what I was expecting, I'm telling you. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, yeah. It's one of them. 
and definitely, definitely over two pounds. Spotted bass. This is my first time using the iPilot for the Minn Kota. Two pounds, 10 ounces. 210. Oh, my fingers are so cold. Look at that one. It's crazy, I was just about to leave, you know? I mean, literally, one or two more casts and I was out of here. With your catch, two pounds, 10 ounces, that puts you in fifth place. Big old spots. <clears throat> Cody Meyer style. Oh, shoot. Sad one. Thought it was a rock and it left all them spit it out. Glad we're not over there. It's coming. Is it really? I just looked. That's coming this way. Yes, sir. We're gonna not go very far. Today didn't go perfectly, but it could have been a lot worse. So pretty happy with day one, almost 14 pounds, a good start anyway. Looks like you'll probably need 22. I don't know, the fishing could get better too. So probably 22 to 25. Loving the camper. I mean, it is unbelievable that this thing fits on the back of my Tundra. I got the shortest bed in a big truck too at five and a half feet. So it's just crazy. Everything works flawlessly. What do you think, bro? Heading over to Fishing Church. To just open us up with a word of prayer, I'm gonna share a quick message. We're gonna have some prayer requests, so if anybody has any, anybody uh, they want to lift up. Father, we just love you today so much and thank you for this day that you've given us, Father. For our soldiers and for those of us who have family and friends who are ill and going through different different kinds of trials, Lord, you know the need, needs completely where we don't, but Father, we ask you to meet those needs. We put it all in your hands and for your glory. The sun finally came out. Trying to get some stuff dry. Crazy. All rigged and ready for tomorrow. Well, had some casualties from the rain. Drying the hooks out. These are the last of the wet ones. This whole box, everything got soaked. That's amazing. Yep. Beautiful morning. I think I'm gonna stay warm today. Cold down here in the mornings. Let's go, day two. All right, here we are, day two. You can see that white line on the rocks. That's where the water was literally yesterday morning. Just another obstacle we gotta overcome. I think it's gonna help though for what I'm doing, but you just never know. It's still gonna be a grind out there, I'm sure. But here we go.
30 seconds till the line's in. I'm gonna cast right there. The line's gonna jump. We're gonna set the hook. And even though we're not supposed to, we're gonna be high-fiving all day long like crazy. 10, 9, 8. <laughs> feet man it feels terrible to start the year 50th place probably 25th in my group out of 40 no excuses i mean i had a five pounder get away from me yesterday if i'd have got that one two shorts today had a 111 and a 14 and i caught that 143 or whatever it was had two other awesome jig bites way up underneath docks that felt like big ones knocked slack in the line started swimming with it and i missed both of them so that's just really weird because if you jig fish you know that that doesn't happen let alone twice in a day we're trying to get packed up our neighbors loaning us a drill because our battery died that's why i brought the youngins <laughs> Don't you just want to watch him do that? I've been wondering what he's been doing all day. Could have had this done. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Heading to Florida. Going to see our mom. Yeah? Yeah. She's going to make us meatloaf. 7.30. And there they go. Not the way we had it planned. Bye-bye, you call her.